So um, my name is Jerry Powers. I'm going to be some of the speaking this evening and um, we're crossing our fingers for technology just like we do every day at school, right? So I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the Kansas Foundation for Excellence in Education, the State Department, and the Kansas Teacher of the Year program. I'd like to welcome each of you to the Kansas Teacher of the Year Region 3 Virtual Awards Celebration. We appreciate your support and presence to help us celebrate and honor all of the 2022 nominees. This afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, is an evening of celebration as we honor the teaching profession and all of the children it serves in our third congressional district in our state. And especially, we are here to recognize 20 nominees representing 10 school districts in the region. These teachers have been selected for their dedication to their districts, to the teaching profession, and to the many children whose lives they have influenced. Honored teachers, it is our hope that this event will be a special celebration for you, that you will be uplifted and encouraged. It's an evening that will honor you for your dedication, your sacrifice, and the love you pour into your students every single day. And today is only the beginning of your recognition. The Kansas Teacher of the Year Leadership Conference and State Awards Banquet, as Dr. Watson said a few minutes ago, will be held in Wichita, Kansas on September 24th through 26th, 2021. All of you honored teachers are invited and encouraged to attend. And we want you to take advantage of this opportunity. It will grow you professionally, and provide incredible networking opportunities with other outstanding educators. To add to the fun and the festivities of this afternoon, we encourage you all to please tweet out any pictures of yourself, your family, as we celebrate you this evening. Please include the State Department of Education's handle when you tweet, which is at KSDEHQ. Again, thank you all for joining us to celebrate our nominees. In addition, we'd like to recognize Tana Byers and Dr. Ruth Wagner. I'm sorry, guys. At this time, we'd like to recognize some outstanding supporters of education who play a significant role in the success of this evening's award celebration. There are multiple levels of investment opportunities. The first level is Friends, which includes Cookies by Design of Overland Park. And we hope each of you enjoyed the cookie bouquets we brought by your schools earlier this week. At the patron level, we have the National Kansas Education Association and the Master Teacher Incorporated of Manhattan. And at the benefactor level, we have Kansas Gas Company, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas City, and Country Club Bank. The commitment of these investors to education and educators is truly inspiring. We could not have this event without their support. In addition, we'd like to recognize Tana Byers and Dr. Ruth Wagoner for composing both nominee biographies, the Turner Unified School District for providing the framing of the nominee certificates, the Olathe School District for providing the use of their graphic arts department, Dr. Josh Anderson for creating and providing the PowerPoint tribute to our honorees, Gail Newman and Nancy McRoberts for volunteering their time and efforts to help with the nominee gifts and the cookie bouquet organization. The parent teacher organizations, booster clubs and building staffs who provided the festive cookie bouquet for each nominee and the KSDE IT department assistants tonight, Kathy Grossenbacher, and Eric Diener and Nathan Whedon. Thank you all for your time and talents. Additionally, we have the following state board members with us this afternoon. Michelle Dombrowski from District 3, Melanie Haas from District 2, and Janet Waugh from District 1. Thank you all for your service to Kansas students and educators. I'm Jerry Powers, one of the co-chairs for tonight's celebration along with Mindy Messmer, Carrie Mugridge, Rena Duell, Ruth Wagner, and Brandy Leggett.
our chief corporate sponsor for the Kansas Teacher of the Year program is Security Benefit, which is a Topeka, Kansas-based retirement savings and income company. Since 2000, the company has made an annual contribution of $28,000, totaling more than $500,000. These funds are used to provide cash awards of $2,000 each of the eight finalists, a cash award of an additional $4,000 to the Kansas Teacher of the Year, a donation of $2,000 to each of the four regions to help underwrite award celebration costs. Company employees are also involved in the program by serving on the Kansas Foundation for Excellence in Education, the Board of Directors, Kansas Teacher of the Year Steering Committee, and the State Selection Committee. At this time, I would like to welcome Aaron Tallon. Mr. Tallon is an Assistant Vice President of Inside Sales with Security Benefit. He has been with Security Benefit for 10 years. He has 19 years of experience in the financial services industry, and prior to joining Security Benefit, Aaron worked in research and corporate strategy at J.P. Morgan Retirement Plan Services. Aaron graduated from the University of Kansas in 2001 with a Bachelor of Science degree. He received a master's degree in management from Baker University in 2008 and a master's degree in business administration from Washington State University in 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Aaron Tallon. Hello, I hope everybody can hear me. Thank you for that, that great, great introduction. Thank you, Randy, for confirming that this is my nightmare. <laughs> I'm sure. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor to be here today representing Security Benefit and our commitment to teachers. On behalf of the entire company, I want to offer my sincere congratulations to the 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year Region 3 nominees. We like to say that teachers who love teaching teach children to love learning. At Security Benefit, we have a strong workforce of more than 1,500 talented associates thanks to teachers at all levels. We have young professionals following their dreams. We have women rising to the top of male-dominated fields. We have bright minds whose ideas are transforming the industry, all thanks to the inspiration of those who taught us to love learning. Good teachers know how to bring out the best in their students, and the Kansas Department of Education and the Teacher of the Year program certainly know how to bring out the best teachers. Today's nominees and all teachers represent the best of Kansas, playing critical roles in preparing our youth become responsible and contributing citizens in a national and global community. We at Security Benefit appreciate the power of teachers and are fortunate to have strong partnerships with the National Education Association and the KNEA. I speak on behalf of all my colleagues when I say congratulations to the nominees and thank you for your commitment, your passion, and your dedication to preparing young minds for the future. It's an honor to be here. Thank you very much. I'll turn it back to you, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron, and also Security Benefit for your commitment to the Kansas Teacher of the Year program. We truly could not do this without your support. We greatly appreciate it. And at this time, I'd like to introduce the Kansas Commissioner of Education, Dr. Randy Watson. Dr. Watson was named Kansas Commissioner of Education by the Kansas State Board of Education in November of 2014. As the state's chief education officer, he provides leadership to the Kansas State Department of Education in carrying out the policies and programs that are prescribed by the State Board of Education to ensure the necessary oversight and support is provided to assist Kansas schools, educators, and students in achieving their goals. The recipient of many awards, Dr. Watson was named an alumni fellow at Kansas State and in 2015, he was honored by being named the Kansas Superintendent of the Year. And in addition to these accolades, Dr. Watson is a champion for teachers and students. He is upbeat and you will see that this evening. He is a change maker and he cares deeply for public education in Kansas. When he says he wants you all to come to the celebration in September so he can meet you and take pictures, he means that. He makes everyone feel that they are valued, that they are special, and that they are needed. And Kansas schools are in great hands with this leader. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Randy Watson. Thank you, Jerry. And I'll tell you, she's absolutely correct. 
I will come hunt you down. I'll throw you in the back of my car. We're going to get you all and to be celebrated in person in September. But I'm so happy to be able to spend some time with you tonight. And we're really glad that someone prepared some remarks for Jerry because I've known her a long time. And what she would have said about me may not have been. No. Can you hear me, Tabitha? Okay. All right. All right. People were just saying there may have been a problem with the sound. So you might start over. Start over after teasing Jerry, because I lost you right <laughs> after that. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So all right. So we'll start over. Think about just just about a year ago. It was over a weekend. I started making some phone calls because some things were happening. The state basketball tournament had been shut down. The NCAA tournament had been shut down. And it looked like things were changing dramatically in our nation. And I made some phone calls to people on this Zoom today and said, can we start to think about what school may look like if we have to cancel? That was on a Saturday and Sunday. And on Monday, we canceled school for the remainder of the year. And those, those teachers formulated a group that then spun out to almost a thousand teachers that created a document called Navigating. Dr. Watson, if you can hear me, your sound has cut out again. And see, none of us act surprised because we've spent since last month <laughs> dealing with this. So this is so familiar to all of us. It is. Old hat now. No. Oh, so, now we okay. got it. You got it. Okay. So no one ran off to watch any basketball. That was good. All right. We were just talking about, or I was talking about you. You weren't talking. You, you couldn't even hear me that about a year ago, we drafted a document with about a thousand educators, many of them on this Zoom called continuous learning, hailed as one of the remarkable documents across America. And that got us through a really difficult time from March of 20 through May of 20. And we couldn't wait, Do you remember? We couldn't wait for the summer and for August to get here because we just knew it was gonna be just perfect and awesome. And what happened? It was worse, it was worse. And so throughout the summer we had drafted with all of your help, navigating change. And what happened in August? Well, you know what, what we had to do, what was remote now became, oh, oh, I get to teach remote and in person and hybrid. Oh, I'm on an A schedule today. No, I'm on B. Wait, my whole class got quarantined and now I don't even have a class today. Oh, wait, I was quarantined and now I had to zoom back into my class. It has been a really difficult year. And you rose to that occasion over and over and over again. You did that just so, so well. And so, on behalf of the state board, and I mean this when I say this, we have seen you every step of the way. You may have thought that you toiled and no one knew all the hard work you were doing. Now we knew, we saw it, and we, and we saw your dedication to your students and your families every single day. The only way Kansas education made it through the last year was because of you and your dedication and your effort. You showed up every day, 
even when you retired and you didn't want to. You addressed every challenge that laid out to you, and you never gave up on your students and families. So thank you. It, it just sounds maybe a little too simple, but I deeply want to thank you for the work that you've done and for the opportunity tonight and to say thank you and congratulations. And now I want to introduce to you a rock star and someone that keeps me grounded on whether or not I can be heard, you know, and other things. We've got to spend uh, this weekend together. And I want to introduce you to Tabitha Ross Roy. I think many of you know, Tabitha teaches pre-K in Winfield USD 465 in the Winfield Early Learning Center. Uh, that's housed in a local retirement village, Cumberland, and her, her classroom is an intergenerational extravaganza of young people working right alongside with whom they call grandma or grandpa or great grandma or grandpa. And when you, if you've had the opportunity to go there, you see this remarkable event going on where kids are not only getting personalized attention and learning so much, but the, but the spark that grandparents and the great grandparents have by being alive again with young, young people. Her program is all inclusive, serves at-risk kids, special education kids, yeah, and the typical four-year-olds, right? All mixed in, in one beautiful environment with community members coming in and out all day in the classroom. And you know what? Uh, as Tabitha would say, both populations benefit so much from that relationship. She's very active in her building leadership team. She's the co-head teacher, the Winfield Early Learning Center. And yes, she serves as the co-president of the Winfield NEA. And many of you know how active and how dedicated she is to KNEA. In her other spare time, Tabitha is part of the Cali County Special Ed Cooperative Early Learning Childhood Academic Team. And uh, what she has found out over her years of teaching is that despite how well her class has done in literacy and math, and by the way, they've rocked it out, it all starts with love and social emotional learning. And she's done that so well uh, over her tenure in Winfield. I don't know. If you think back to the year 1962, some of you can't because you weren't around like I was in 62. Let me just point out, I, I, was, I was little, okay, but I, I was around. That was the last time we had a National Teacher of the Year until Tabitha like just shattered that door. And guess what? There's never been a National Teacher of the Year that was a preschool teacher until Tabitha Rossroy destroyed that door. And so ladies and gentlemen, put it together. I'm going to introduce to you not only the Kansas State Teacher of the Year, a rock star pre-K teacher, but the National Teacher of the Year from Winfield, Kansas, Tabitha Rossroy. Take it away, Tabitha. Thank you, Dr. Watson. I have been saying on these calls that Dr. Watson is like the hype man you want to bring with you everywhere, but I, we've also got Amy Hillman on this call who I can see, and those two combined are really, you know, the hype of Kansas educators, and so I am so thankful to see both of their faces and to see all of you. I am from Region 4, from Winfield, but I will be joining your region next school year. I've accepted a job with Olathe Public Schools um, as an early childhood support teacher and with the hopes of planting another intergenerational program in your area. So all of those wonderful things you heard Randy talk about are something that could be happening nearby. School board members, if you're listening, that's what we need the support from and any local nursing home. But what we're here to really talk about today is you. And I am so, so, so excited to be here with you today celebrating the excellence that is education in Kansas. You have made it, like Dr. Watson said, a full year in one of the most challenging times in our world's history and in our country's history. You've had to change so much, you've had to worry so much, you've had to be more adaptive and more flexible than ever expected but your unwavering dedication has not gone unnoticed. I am so proud to be a Kansas educator, and I'm so proud because I get to do this work alongside all of you. 
you know, I remember this time um, a year or so ago, a little more, <laughs> on my way up to the Region 4 banquet, how nervous I was, how excited I was, how terrified I was. But what I didn't know then was that no matter the outcome of that day, I was going to be a part of something so special and unique and wonderful that it would shape my life forever. So no matter the names that we call as finalists or semi-finalists today, every single educator here is about to enter into a lifetime of friendship and shared joy with other teachers across the state. And Kansas is really unique in this. I go on trips sometimes, pre pandemic pre pre pandemic pre pandemic i have been on many virtual meetings daily with teachers across the country and what they all want to hear about is how we run our teacher of the year program they are so amazed and so inspired i've had three different teachers from different states this year bring back our plan to their state to try to get something going like we have here it is very easy to see that Kansas Teacher of the Year program is of the highest caliber in our nation, and all of you are now a part of that family. So I encourage you to take part of the Fall Leadership Conference, and then any event that you can, you have this incredible opportunity to connect, right? That is the word that my team has been using for the last couple of years. You have the opportunity to connect with the greatness of other educators in our state, and the opportunity to shine a light on your home district too. And that word, like I said, has been one that we've focused on. And I also talk a lot about the patron Saint Brene Brown. I believe she is wise beyond her years. And she says, connection is why we're here. It's what gives purpose and meaning to our lives. And we have all felt that even more over this last year where we've had to stay distanced, but we've needed that connection more than ever. So I hope that none of you ever take a single moment that you could connect with another person for granted, especially in your year on the Kansas Teacher of the Year leadership teams. So on behalf of myself, and the Region 3 finalists from 2020, Amy Hillman and Melissa Moltini, and the rest of our team, we congratulate you on this honor and we welcome all of you to this big, supportive, loving K-Toy family. Kind of today, we're letting go of a title and we've had some tearful messages swapped in our group message about this very thing um, today and in the weeks leading up to it, but really we're not. You will always be the 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year team. And we will always be the 2020 Kansas Teacher of the Year team. So we're sliding out of the limelight a little bit and you guys are sliding in, but we are gaining so much more than a title. We are gaining more people in our Kansas Teacher of the Year family. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all of you. I can't wait to hear about your accomplishments and celebrate you today. Well, thank you so much, Tabitha. And we are so fortunate here in Kansas to have Tabitha representing not only the teachers of Kansas, but we have the National Teacher of the Year from Kansas. And Tabitha, thank you so much for all your work uh, during this past year and a half. I think you've been the person who's been the Kansas Teacher of the Year the longest. It's some kind uh, of record, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you so, so much. We, we, uh, we appreciate all you've done uh, for our profession. My name is Ruth Wagner, and uh, I'm here to share with you the special awards that our nominees will be receiving. Each district nominee received a certificate from the Kansas State Department of Education, honoring them as Kansas Teacher of the Year district winners. A unique personalized cookie bouquet was delivered earlier this week, and uh, these have been provided by parent teacher organizations, booster clubs, uh, or building staffs for all of our nominees. All nominees also received a Kansas Teacher of the Year still tumbler, and then the six semifinalists will each receive a red marble apple compliments of the Master Teacher Incorporated of Manhattan, Kansas. And the two finalists will receive a check for $2,000 from Security Benefit. We thank and deeply appreciate all the sponsorships uh, for their support of the Teacher of the Year program. Thank you so much. I'm also going to talk about the selection process for the Kansas Teacher of the Year. Uh, the great state of Kansas has some of the best teachers in the nation, we know that. So how do we ever begin to decide upon the Kansas Teacher of the Year? The selection of the Kansas Teacher of the Year first begins when the nomination packets are sent to each district. 
The district chooses an elementary and a secondary candidate, and the nominees complete a packet of information in which they are asked to examine their career, philosophy, and profession. The finished packets are sent to Topeka, where they are scored by a panel of professional educators from the region. Each March, four banquets are held throughout the state. We're doing one of those right now. Each represents one of the four congressional districts for the state of Kansas. And it is at each of these banquets that all nominees from the region are honored. It is also where three elementary and three secondary semifinalists are announced. During our celebration this evening, we will announce one elementary and one secondary finalist. These two finalists will be further interviewed and videotaped in the coming weeks. The interviews will be evaluated and it is from this process the Kansas Teacher of the Year will be chosen. All finalists will be honored at a statewide banquet in Wichita in September. And it is at that time that the Kansas Teacher of the Year is announced. Each elementary and secondary finalist from the four congressional districts and the Kansas Teacher of the Year will form the Kansas Teacher of the Year team. The team will spend the year touring the state of Kansas, promoting, advocating, and sharing the many great accomplishments that educators and students are achieving every day. The team will visit school districts, pre-service teachers at colleges and universities, and legislators in Topeka. Congratulations to all of our nominees tonight. And now let's find out who will be this region's three elementary and secondary winners for the Kansas Teacher of the Year. So at this time, we would like to recognize all of our elementary nominees. And later, we will follow with our secondary nominees. So let's get started recognizing you. First is Chelsea Hansen from Turner USD 202. After earning a Bachelor of Science degree from Missouri Valley College in 2012, Chelsea started her teaching career in her hometown of Kansas City, Kansas. She began teaching third grade at Midland Trail Elementary in the Turner School District and has been teaching for eight years. Chelsea celebrates students' differences and works persistently to foster a loving, caring, and engaging classroom community. She sets the bar high for both herself and her students, promoting lifelong learning and always striving for success. To engage students and provide a strong instructional foundation, she provides a classroom that is a full-on experience filled with hands-on, innovative, and engaging lessons. Chelsea desires to help each child find their love of learning. Chelsea earned a bachelor's degree in educational leadership in May, 2020. Chelsea Hansen thrives in an educational setting with her life passion being able to make a positive difference in the lives of children. Joy Engel, the assistant superintendent of student services says, Chelsea is outstanding at building relationships with students. She is a teacher that from even her first days in the classroom found that perfect combination of high expectations, consistency, and love. She has the poise and wisdom of a veteran teacher well beyond her years. Chelsea's principal is Mr. Aaron Atterbury and her superintendent is Dr. Jason Dandoy. Congratulations, Chelsea. Amanda Ketterling. Amanda Ketterling, a library media specialist at Bonner Springs Elementary in the Bonner Springs School District, believes that to reach the untapped potential of a child, you must first understand them as individuals, then teach them to advocate for themselves. Active on the Building Lighthouse and Leadership Action Teams, Ketterling is a strong voice in her community, mentoring colleagues as well as students to help them discover their own strengths. Ketterling's proudest accomplishment is creating a building-wide inclusion unit entitled Spread the Word, bringing awareness of how people with disabilities are treated. Ketterling holds a Bachelor of Science degree from Baker University and a Master of Science Library Media Specialist degree from Fort Hayes State University. She has been honored for her professionalism and dedication to her students, 
receiving the 2013 and 2019 Excellence in Education Award, as well as 2018 USD 204 Teacher of the Month. Amanda's principal says, Amanda has stepped up and helped to lead our implementation of the Leader in Me program and create opportunities for these students to serve as leaders in our school and community. She has a true servant heart and our students respond in such positive ways to her special style of leadership. Amanda's principal is Mrs. Kim Mitchell and her superintendent is Dr. Dan Brengard. Congratulations, Amanda. Melissa Donaldson, Blue Valley USD 229. Melissa is an early childhood special education teacher at Stanley Elementary in the Blue Valley School District. She began teaching in 2003. Melissa holds two Bachelor of Arts degrees in psychology and human development and family life, and a Master of Arts degree in human development and family life with an emphasis in behavior analysis. She also has a Master of Arts degree in early childhood special education, all from the University of Kansas. Donaldson believes that by creating a safe, loving, kind environment, all children can make friends, learn and grow no matter their needs or delays. Over the years, she has helped her school and special education department create more universal ways to address challenging behaviors and social emotional needs. She is a member of the Division for Early Childhood of the Council for Exceptional Children. A parent wrote, our daughter has a rare genetic condition and her life has been a journey with many tearful days of fear for us as parents. Her time with Mrs. Donaldson has been a journey of achievement and compassion. Mrs. Donaldson has changed our tears of sadness into tears of joy. Each day we give thanks for Mrs. Donaldson. We know our daughter is loved and in good hands when she is in her care. Melissa's principal is Dr. Shannon Adams. Her superintendent is Dr. Tanya Merrigan. Congratulations, Melissa. Katie Smith, Spring Hill USD 230. Katie Smith is a first grade teacher at Timber Sage Elementary in the Spring Hill School District. Katie taught all day kindergarten her first two years and is currently in her 10th year of teaching first grade. She is an active staff member who serves on the Professional Development Point Committee, is a member of the school's site council team, and serves as a mentor teacher for college practicum students and student teachers. Smith holds a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education from Kansas State University and a Master of Arts in Education from Baker University. Growing up, Smith knew she wanted to be a teacher. As an eight-year-old, she remembers feeling upset and embarrassed for her classmates each time the teacher made an example of them and her empathy grew. This particular experience greatly influenced her desire to help others be successful. Michelle Hackney, Director of Human Resources wrote, every moment in Katie Smith's class counts. Students achieve academically to a very high level. Beyond making each moment count academically, Katie doesn't let an opportunity pass to model social learning, provide a hug, give a knowing glance to get a student back on track, or notice a student to help them feel like a part of the group. She inspires others, and represents what is truly remarkable about education in Kansas. Katie's principal is Ms. Darcy Sly. Her superintendent is Dr. Wayne Burke. Congratulations, Katie. Paula Athey, Gardner Edgerton, USD 231. Paula has taught in the Gardner Edgerton School District for 22 years. For the past eight years, she has served as the library media specialist at Moonlight Elementary. She received her Bachelor of Science from Baker University and a Master of Arts in Teaching from the University of St. Mary and a Master of Science in Educational Technology with an emphasis in library media from Pittsburgh State University. Athy has been a district mentor since 2015 and has shown leadership at Moonlight Elementary as a co-chair of the reading committee for the school improvement plan 
and a co-creator of the Growth Mindset Lessons taught to all students. She helps students through programs such as Student Council, Novel Navigators, Moonlight Night, the JOCO Public Library, and the Staff Holiday Family Adoption Program. She is currently planning Moonlight's first Awareness Week in April to celebrate the diversity of learners. Carla Reed, Director of Mentoring and Professional Development says, Paula's influence goes beyond her own classroom as a district mentor. Paula's ability to develop trust and build positive relationships allow first and second year teachers to feel comfortable reflecting on their successes and challenges. She honors new teachers' individuality while encouraging, motivating, and challenging them to discover their potential as effective practitioners. She is a standout educator and is most deserving of this award. Paula's principal is Mrs. Katie Beach, and her superintendent is Mrs. Pam Stranathan. Congratulations, Paula. Melissa Hembry, DeSoto, USD 232. Melissa Hembry has had the honor of teaching precious first graders for 19 years at Riverview Elementary in the DeSoto School District. She takes great pride in not only laying foundational skills for academics, but for the entire school experience. If you walked into Hembry's classroom, you would witness her singing, dancing, or acting out a story. Her classroom is a stage and the students are active participants. Hembry holds a Bachelor of General Studies from the University of Kansas, Bachelor of Education from Washburn University, and a Master of Arts in Teaching and Learning from Avila University. Hembry is certified to teach English language learners and enjoys the many different cultures that make up her classroom each year. Hembry was awarded the Teacher of Excellence, an award voted on by colleagues in both 2008 and 2009. She is an active member of her community and volunteers in the children's ministry program at their church. Melissa's principal writes, Melissa embodies the dynamic qualities that I believe make her the Kansas Teacher of the Year. She promotes a student-centered vision with high expectations for teaching and learning, easily builds and maintains relationships with students and staff, fosters a collaborative and fun work environment, and promotes continuous improvement for herself, her colleagues, and most importantly, her students. She has the breadth and depth of experience, extreme talent, and an authentic love for children that serves as a role model for all. Melissa's principal is Mrs. Beth Mildred, and her superintendent is Dr. Frank Harwood. Congratulations, Melissa. Kim Davis, Olathe USD 233. Kim Davis teaches kindergarten at Ravenwood in the Olathe School District. She has been teaching kindergarten for the past five years. Prior to teaching kindergarten, she taught first, second, fifth and sixth grades at Washington Elementary and Rolling Ridge Elementary in Olathe. She also taught first and second grades at Emerson Elementary in Kansas City, Kansas. Mrs. Davis graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education from Ottawa University in 2003. She then obtained a Master of Science in Curriculum and Instruction with an emphasis on English language learners from Kansas State University in 2008. She completed a second Master of Science in Building Leadership from Baker University in 2011. Additionally, Mrs. Davis has added an English to Speakers of Other Languages endorsement in 2019. Kim's principal writes, Kim is always on the lookout for ideas and resources that will benefit student learning. When the decision was made to close buildings for the remainder of the year, Kim jumped right in to providing and promoting home learning opportunities for students and families. She created a Facebook page that featured her doing short math lessons and read alouds. I joined her class for Zoom meetings and they are a joy. From guest appearances of her cats to student suggested themes, the kids are so eager to share and Mrs. Davis never stop smiling. Kim's principal is Mrs. Jamie Beach, and her superintendent is Mr. John Allison. Congratulations. 
Tracy McCombs, Lewisburg USD 416. Tracy McCombs is a second grade teacher at Rockville Elementary in the Lewisburg School District. She completed her Bachelor of Arts degree at Mid-American Nazarene University. Tracy has a love for her students and people in general. She seeks to find the good in everyone around her, which explains her family-like atmosphere in her classroom. She looks at each child through the eyes of a mother. She prides herself on equality and fostering a positive family-oriented classroom where students cheer each other on, laugh at their mistakes, and celebrate their differences. Before academics, she wants her children to love each other and love life. She believes learning will then fall into place. Her students are expected to believe they are capable, able to connect and contribute to their learning environment. Teaching kids how to care is a hard job and expecting their best is how she achieves this. Dr. Brian Bierman, superintendent of schools writes, there is no teacher that cares more about her kids than Mrs. McCombs does. I know this may sound cliche, but it is a true statement. Over my career, I have seen thousands of teachers interact with their students. I have never seen more passion and caring for students than I have seen from Mrs. McCombs. She is the type of professional your committee wants representing teachers and the state of Kansas. By being selected the next Kansas Teacher of the Year, she would set the bar even higher. Tracy's principal is Mrs. Emily Fleming, and her superintendent is Dr. Brian Bierman. Congratulations, Tracy. Amanda Rice, Kansas City USD 500. Amanda Rice is currently teaching third grade in Kansas City, Kansas at Noble Prentice Elementary in the Kansas City, Kansas School District. Ms. Rice has been in education a total of 12 years. Her journey as an educator started in Leavenworth, Kansas as a paraeducator. And this sparked her love for teaching. So Ms. Rice started work on her Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education through Emporia State University and graduated with her degree in 2011. She then completed her Master of Science Reading Specialist in 2019. Ms. Rice has participated in several extracurricular academic activities such as math relays, tutoring, battle of the books, Jumpstart, Math Camp, and Literacy and Math Cadres. This love for teaching, seeing students grow, and being a personal professional learner earned her star teacher for the 2019-2020 school year. She plans on one day becoming an instructional coach or instructional specialist. Amanda's principal writes, Amanda will go above the call of duty to involve support programs and resources that develop children socially, emotionally, physically, and mentally. She stays current on available best practices for instruction, programs, literature, and support systems. She believes in teamwork and is extremely organized and dedicated to building positive relationships with students, colleagues, and parents. Her passion is obvious to anyone who listens to her. Amanda's principal is Mrs. Rhonda Gavel, and her superintendent is Dr. Charles Faust. Congratulations, Amanda. Crystal Brower, Shawnee Mission, USD 512. Crystal Brower teaches kindergarten at Shawano Elementary in the Shawnee Mission School District. By making learning come alive in her classroom through read alouds and interactive play, she has created a powerful learning environment for students. Brower is constantly, intentionally studying education and how to best meet the needs of her students. Brower's education includes a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education and a Master of Education, Bilingual and Multicultural Education with an endorsement in English as a Second Language from Northern Arizona University. Brower has continued her education and knowledge by attending Pittsburgh State University, working towards becoming a reading specialist. Brower has received nearly $7,200 in grants that have allowed her to purchase guided reading books, start a school garden, and provide field trips to take students to the Coterie, a children's interactive theater. A parent says, Mrs. Brower encompasses everything I could hope for in a teacher. She is strong, steady, and unwavering in the environment she creates for her students. These values have helped to build a safe and consistent environment for her students. 
She governs her classroom in a way that earns all the children's respect and shows them love and care as if they were her own. I cannot think of anyone more deserving of this award. Crystal's principal is Dr. Abby Morgan and her superintendent is Dr. Michael Fulton. Congratulations, Crystal. And now I'd like to welcome back Tabitha Rostroy and Dr. Watson, as they will have the honor of announcing the three elementary semifinalists for Region 3. We're excited. We're yes, excited we right there. <laughs> and, we've got, and we've got the envelope because we didn't want to know. We were going to be surprised like all of you. And so, and because Tabitha, as we already talked about, is such a rock star uh, pre-K teacher, we're actually going to have her kick it off and announce the first semi-finalist. So Tabitha, it's all yours. Okay, let's open our envelopes, Randy. Okay. All right, everyone. <laughs> the Region 3 Elementary Semi-Finalist for 2002 Kansas Teacher of the Year. First up, Melissa Donaldson, Blue Valley, USD 229. Ah, oh, congratulations, Melissa. Well deserved. Now let's go to our second semi-finalist, Melissa Hembry from DeSoto Riverview Elementary School. <laughs> I'm trying not to clap too loud so it doesn't hurt any of your ears and your headphones. So I'm doing a very polite golf clap, but on the inside, I am real pumped up. Our third elementary semifinalist is Amanda Ketterling from Bonner Springs. Wow. Congratulations to all three of our semifinalists. Wow, what a what a great what a great honor. Yeah. And, and, and now will be the time where we recognize the secondary nominees mm -hmm. and Dr. Ruth Wagner is going to be doing that. Ruth, take it over. Okay. Are we um are we waiting to announce the elementary? You tell us, Ruth. Are we announcing <laughs> the finalists now, or are we waiting? I, I think we're supposed to announce the finalists for the elementary before I begin. Well, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's, just, let's rip this envelope open, <laughs> Tabitha. And why don't why don't you, Tabitha? I'm, the look, I'm looking at it, but I'm going to let you. Give, give the finalist announcement for the okay. elementary finalist. Why don't you help me out with your Zoom muted drum roll, please? The Region 3 elementary finalist for 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year is Amanda Ketterling from Bonner Springs. And now Amanda gets to give a little, a little. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Will you help me out with your Zoom muted drum roll, please? You need to mute. The Region 3 Elementary <laughs> Finalist for 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year is Amanda <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. <laughs> well, I'm shaking. <laughs> um, first of all, you're probably wondering, and the answer is no. You don't have to adjust the coloring on your monitors because my hair is blue um, and my neck is red. Um, and, you know, it's not boredom for quarantine purposes. It's just unapologetically me. 
um, one of the ways I can help improve my own mental health during all this COVID is to change my hair color because <laughs> it makes me feel better. Um, and they always say, wear your best color and red's my best color. So um, 2021, wow, what a crazy ride it's been. Um, this past year has been really crazy for everyone, families, students, and staff. Um, we had no clue what we were doing and what was coming our way, but we, as educators, did what we do best, and we jump into that unknown rabbit hole with our whole hearts to protect and teach our children. Um, while I've always been a vocal advocate for our mental health awareness, um, both as a parent and as a professional, this year has exploded with a million reasons why um, this topic of mental health is more devastatingly important than ever before. The pandemic has pushed mental health to the forefront and it's emphasized the importance of a strong school community and prioritized, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, the need for personal connection. A new normal is being built every day, day by day. And my question is, how brave are you going to be when you get to create the change that you want to see? So now is our opportunity. Um, the poet E.E. E. Cummings once said, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. And being brave is difficult concept to teach children. Many of us still struggle with the idea of bravery in our adult lives. Um, and people who choose to devote themselves to be educators, to educate children are brave. And the students who arrive at school each day during, um, to persevere through the unknown are equally as brave. Have patience with yourself as you grow and you learn, either in your job as an educator or on your journey as a student. And give yourself and others grace to make mistakes and learn from them. Only in this way can you become a voice for change. Being a teacher is one of the greatest privileges that you can ever earn. It has more intrinsic value than you can imagine. And teaching is more complex than most people realize, although I think now they might realize it even more. Teachers must put themselves for, into other people's shoes every day by becoming other things, like nurses and librarians and musicians and counselors, photographers, actors, engineers, detectives, comedians, and so much more. There is a hidden bonus though in our career. It doesn't end once those children leave your classroom. True teaching takes long-term dedication. It takes blood and sweat and tears, and those little souls have entrusted us to advocate for them and support them on their life's journey. For teachers, there usually comes a day when they find that the role has reversed for themselves. And suddenly you realize you're the student and your students are now the teacher. And for me, one of those days is today. So thank you to those students I have been blessed to teach, especially my inspiring little third grade remote students this year who have persevered through the challenge of this school year. Building connections with those students is what makes teaching invaluable. I would also like to say thank you to my BSC family for the past 20 years. You truly are the best staff ever. And I would wish to teach nowhere else. You are the heart of our school. BSC exudes a culture of inclusion and genuine acceptance because of each of one of you. Thank you for all the wonderful mentors that I have been blessed to learn from throughout my journey. And you have become dear friends and genuine confidants. I hear your whispers of advice every day as I'm teaching. And last but not least, an enormous amount of gratitude to and love up to my family, my parents being the OGs in my education, and my first and most influential teachers. My husband and my boys for wholeheartedly supporting all the craziness that it takes for me to be a teacher and the kind of teacher that I aspire to be. You are my backbone and you are my joy in life. Bonner Springs Elementary has a mission statement that is very powerful. Brave enough to choose the path and brave enough to lead the way. Being an educator has given me purpose to my life and driven me to become the best version of myself that I can be. While it's not easy, it is a worthwhile goal and I challenge you to do the same. As early as grade school, you are building your reputation. Who do you want to see? Who do you want the world to see? To answer this question, I would like to share my Brave Space vision in an acrostic poem with some words of advice. 
B stands for Braves. Believe in yourself, be the voice of reason and the voice of change and be unforgivably you. R is relationships. They are what matter to the kids and to the staff and build those relationships, those genuine connections that transcend the classroom. A, advocate for yourself and others, awaken a spirit of compassion in children and advance awareness of mental health issues. V, value others for who they are and for their differences and similarities and for their untapped potential. E stands for empathy and all humankind and encouraging children individuality every chance you can. Finally, S stands for sharing your knowledge and experiences, solving your challenges together, for we not only learn from our successes, but more importantly, from our failures. Remember, building strong support systems can be an invaluable thing. So I say to you, be brave. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for those uh, those beautiful words and congratulations. I tell you what, the strong support systems can be an uh, you have no idea what is in uh, store for you this year. An incredible year awaits. So congratulations. We are very proud of you and that you will be representing us here in uh, Region 3. Okay, at this time, we will begin to recognize the secondary uh, nominees. Jennifer Thomas, Turner USD, USD 202. Jennifer Thomas is a science teacher at Turner High School in Kansas City, Kansas. She teaches chemistry and environmental science and has been in education for the last 12 years. In 2008, she earned her Bachelor of Arts in Secondary Education from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Jennifer is a mentor for new teachers, leads professional development, and serves as the board chair and grant writer for KC Farm School at Gibbs Road. She serves on the school improvement team, Metro Climate Action Coalition, C13T Leadership Team, and is a parent teacher student association member. She leads by example and helps students find their perfect fit in the world. She equips students with the tools they need to get their voices heard, identify needed change in their communities, and then shows students how to be that change. Jennifer's principal writes, Mrs. Thomas has not only changed the school's ideas and approach to project-based learning, her students have altered our policies, procedures, and habits to be more environmentally friendly. Every student in the school is immersed in lessons on environmental science through lunchroom, composting, gardens, and farm partnerships. Her knowledge of science combined with her ability to relate to and motivate students has helped thousands of students gain necessary skills to be successful, not only in, their, her, in her classroom, but in their lives. Jennifer's principal is Dr. Alan Penrose, and her superintendent is Dr. Jason Dandoy. Congratulations, Jennifer. Wendy Dobbs, Bonner Springs USD 204. Wendy Dobbs is currently a seventh grade math teacher. She teaches at Robert E. Clark Middle School in the Bonner Springs Edwardsville School District and has been in education for the last 17 years. She graduated in 1991 with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology from the University of Montana. She received her teaching certification from Murray State University in 2000. She then completed her Master of Science in Education with ESOL certification in 2014 from Mid-America Nazarene University. In addition to daily instruction, she finds great joy in building relationships and providing additional learning opportunities for students. Some examples of this include fossil digs, friendship gardens, after school robotics and science clubs, girls on the run, and taking students to Kansas State University on the weekend to attend a STEM day, just to name a few. A colleague writes, Wendy works tirelessly outside of school and during the summer to improve her skills, lessons, and relationships. She is the motivational teacher who strives to make families the focal point of school. 
Student and parents respect her knowledge, communication skills, and love of learning, and they see her regularly throughout the community and at events. She is a positive leader and advocate for kids and their families and is constantly striving to create, maintain, and build relationships between schools and their homes. Wendy's principal is Mrs. Tammy De La Rosa and her superintendent is Dr. Dan Brungart. Congratulations, Wendy. Ken Taylor. Ken Taylor has been an English teacher at Blue Valley North High School in the Blue Valley School District for the past 20 years. He has taught nearly every level of English and has also helped establish a reading strategies program for struggling readers. He received a Bachelor of Arts in English Education from Mid-American Nazarene University in 2000. He also completed a Master of Arts in Curriculum and Instruction from Baker University in 2007. In addition to his teaching assignments, Mr. Taylor serves as the English Language Arts Department Chair, Building Leadership Team Member, has coached football and track, and sponsored the Blue Valley North DECA team. Ken is an inspiration to many. He not only inspires the students to be better, but the teachers he works with as well. Ken's principal writes, first and foremost, Mr. Taylor is a student-centered teacher. He understands that all solution-minded decisions within a classroom must be predicated upon what is in the best interest of a student's emotional and or academic well-being. Mr. Taylor takes his craft seriously and constantly looks for new ways to grow and expand his learning as a teacher. Even though he has had success as a teacher for years, he possesses the humility that a teacher must constantly grow in order to impact students with evolving needs. Ultimately, Ken Taylor has been the consummate professional within our high school. He undoubtedly exemplifies the qualities that you are looking for as teacher of the year and would be, would be an outstanding representative for the state of Kansas. Ken's principal is Dr. Tyson Ostrowski and his superintendent is Dr. Tanya Merrigan. Congratulations, Ken. Mary Larson. Spring Hill USD 230. Mary Larson teaches special education at Spring Hill High School in the Spring Hill School District. She teaches students in grades nine through 12 and also runs the post-secondary 18 through 21 year old program. Ms. Larson has been in education for the past eight years. She received her Bachelor of Business Administration from Hardin Simmons University in 2001. She earned her teaching certificate from Abilene University in 2007 and a Master of Science in Special Education from Baker University in 2013. In addition to her classroom responsibilities, Mary Larson is always looking for fun, innovative ways for students to learn life skills and apply the lessons that she has taught to serve the community. Examples include selling Bronco biscuits at local craft fairs and the vet clinic and involving students in baristas for a day at the local coffee shop. Tyler Graves, a city council member says, some people just have that it factor and Ms. Larson is one of those people. Her attention to detail is on point and with her, nothing slips through the cracks. Whenever we work with her classroom on an event or activity, her attention to detail and follow-up is great. As a sitting council member dealing with budgets, rules and different regulations, I truly understand the importance of her attention to every little detail. She is an outgoing, caring, and extremely hardworking leader who is always putting others ahead of herself. Mary's principal is Mr. Mark Williams, and her superintendent is Dr. Wayne Burke. Congratulations, Mary. Jaylene Freeman, Gardner Edgerton USD 231. Jaylene Freeman teaches courses in marketing and information support systems at Gardner Edgerton High School in the Gardner Edgerton School District. Mrs. Freeman has been in education for the last 18 years. She earned her Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education from Kansas State University in 2000 and her Master of Arts in Education from Baker University in 2012. She is responsible for launching the Blazer Stop, which is the GEHS school store. Jaylene oversees the training of her students to assist the district technology department in maintaining Chromebooks. Additionally, she is a DECA sponsor, department chair, 
Perkins Grant Coordinator, Building CISOP, District Technology Committee member, and Gardner Edgerton National Education Association Treasurer. Jaylene's creativity and passion for project-based learning prove that she is a leading innovator in the field of education. One of Jaylene's students writes, yes, Mrs. Freeman solves problems inside and outside the classroom, but what sets her apart from other teachers is that she is compassionate and passionate about everything she does. Although she manages multiple Keystone classes, DECA and CTE curriculums, she somehow manages to find the time for her students outside of school. No matter what the time or circumstance, Mrs. Freeman is always open to talk to a student. Her only fault is that she may care too much. She devotes almost all of her time to make sure her students and colleagues are not only successful, but stable. I am truly blessed to have Mrs. Freeman as a teacher and I know her future students will be blessed as well. Jaylene's principal is Mr. Mark Meyer and her superintendent is Mrs. Pam Stranathan. Congratulations, Jaylene. Amanda Sweet, DeSoto, USD 232. Amanda Sweet began her teaching career in the DeSoto School District 14 years ago. She is an English 9 and AP Literature Composition 2 teacher at DeSoto High School. Mrs. Sweet earned her Bachelor of Arts in English from Baker University in 2006. She also obtained a Master of Arts in Education in 2013 and a Master of Arts in English from Emporia State University in 2016. In addition to teaching, she is a seminar teacher for ESOL students, an assistant coach for speech and debate, co-sponsor of Project Lit, and serves on numerous building and district committees. She started a book club as well as the Abbott program at her school with the goal of helping disadvantaged students reach their full potential. Through her exemplary teaching, Amanda has helped students realize that their voices count. A colleague says, most freshmen are nervous when they begin high school, but non-native English speakers are especially nervous about English classes. They are afraid to be singled out, embarrassed in front of their peers, or to simply not be understood. With Mrs. Sweet, our ELL students quickly develop a relationship of trust and knowledge that she will allow no such things to happen in her classroom. She helps students learn to communicate. More importantly, she reminds students that what they have to say is valuable and important. Noelia is no longer afraid to speak. Juan is setting and reaching academic goals. Dira feels like the star student she is. Amanda's principal is Mr. Sam Ruff and her superintendent is Dr. Frank Harwood. Congratulations, Amanda. Jessica Skogland. Olathe, USD 233. Jessica Skogland is an English teacher and speech and debate coach at Olathe Northwest High School in the Olathe School District. She earned a Bachelor of Science in Education from Pittsburgh State University in 2013. Her Master of Science in Curriculum and Instruction was obtained from Emporia State University in 2018, followed by a Master of Science in Educational Administration in 2018. She has spent the last seven years in education. In addition to her teaching and coaching responsibilities, she is the English department chair, representative for Olathe National Education Association, member of the Raven 50 committee, and is also a member of the Olathe School District's COVID-19 response task force. The ability to connect with students and empower them to achieve their dreams is one of Jessica's greatest strengths. Jessica's principal writes, Ms. Skogland epitomizes what educators should strive to be. She is connected with students, effective, innovative, and involved. She has received numerous recognitions from local and national organizations. As a speed and debate, co debate coach, she has earned the prestigious First Diamond Coaching Degree Award and Donna Steve Roberts Coaching Excellence Award based on supporting students in our nationally ranked program. She has also received several building and district awards for her service to the profession. I cannot recommend Ms. Skogland highly enough. Jessica's principal is Mr. Chris Zuck and her superintendent is Mr. John Allison. Congratulations, Jessica. Jared Worthington, Lewisburg, USD 416. 
Jared Worthington returned to the school he graduated from and has been teaching math at Lewisburg High School in the Lewisburg School District for 16 years. He has taught pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, pre-calculus, geometry, and calculus to all levels. Mr. Worthington earned his Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education from Emporia State University in 2004. In addition to his classes, he has dedicated his time to summer skill development courses and math night study program initiatives. He has emceed the Star Search Homecoming Assembly and is also known around town as the voice of the Wildcats, announcing for varsity games and the LHS commencement ceremony each year. His involvement also includes being a member of the district leadership team, as well as the math department chair. He wears many hats at LHS and continues to positively impact the Lewisburg community each and every day. Jared's principal writes, Jared is the type of educator that every student, parent, and administrator loves to have on staff. The type of teacher students gravitate towards because of the passion he puts into his class. I have yet to meet a student that has had anything negative to say about Mr. Worthington's classes, and he genuinely reaches the entire student body. Every time I'm in his room, I leave knowing just how lucky Lewisburg is to have a teacher like him educating and being a role model for our kids. My own daughter, a freshman this year, has said that Mr. Worthington has made math make sense, and he is commonly referred to as a favorite teacher. Jared's principal is Mr. Jeremy Holloway, and his superintendent is Dr. Brian Bierman. Congratulations, Jared. Kimberly Service, Kansas City USD 500. Kimberly Service teaches French at Sumner Academy of Arts and Science in the Kansas City, Kansas School District, where she also serves as the ESOL and testing coordinator. She earned both her Bachelor of Science and Master of Science in Education from the University of Kansas. Mrs. Service has been teaching for 21 years and has dedicated all of those years to students in Kansas. Kimberly travels with her students to France every other summer where she immerses them in the culture, giving them the ability to apply and practice the language that they have been learning in class. She truly brings learning to life and dedicates her time not only to teaching her students, but to mentoring staff, organizing testing for teachers and supporting her students in extracurricular activities as well. A student writes, at Sumner Academy, Mrs. Service currently teaches French two and IB French five. I have also seen her all over the building because she's either coaching eighth grade volleyball or because she's in charge of all the assessments and is also the ESOL coordinator. Personally, Mrs. Service has always been there for me, both academic, academically and in my personal life. I know that I could always come to her regardless if I was having trouble with the subjunctive tense in French or if I just needed a shoulder to lean on. An interesting fact about Mrs. Service is that she was actually my first French teacher's teacher. I hope history repeats itself again because I plan to become a high school French teacher. It was with the help, support, and passion of Mrs. Service that I realized French was a calling for me. The way she teaches just amazes me. I truly hope to be just as amazing a teacher as Mrs. Service. Kimberly's principal is Mr. Rick Malone and her superintendent is Dr. Charles Faust. Congratulations, Kimberly. Natalie Johnson Berry, Shawnee Mission USD 512. Natalie Johnson Berry is a National Board Certified Teacher who currently teaches English to 9th and 12th grade students at Shawnee Mission North High School in the Shawnee Mission School District. She has been teaching for the last 21 years. Natalie is a member of the Greater Kansas City Writing Project, a Building and District Site Council representative and the sponsor of the Black Student Union at her school. Mrs. Johnson Berry earned her Bachelor of Arts in English and her Master of Arts in Secondary Education, both from Agnes Scott College in Decatur, Georgia. She also most recently earned an Educational Specialist in Leadership from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Natalie Johnson Berry believes wholeheartedly that the best teaching practice is culturally responsive, authentic instruction that centers around student choice. Her principal writes, not only is Natalie concerned with the improvement of students, she also takes a great deal of pride in her own personal improvement and learning. 
Natalie is a National Board Certified Teacher and is pursuing a doctoral degree. Additionally, Natalie has been selected to present at a National Council of Teachers of English Convention and has also been selected to participate in the Greater Kansas City Writing Project. Her unrelenting quest to further her education and fulfill leadership opportunities has proved beneficial for both students and staff at Shawnee Mission North. As Natalie continues to grow through these opportunities, her role as a mentor for other educators in our school and district will allow the impact to spread exponentially. Natalie's principal is Dr. Jeremy Higgins and her superintendent is Dr. Michael Fulton. Congratulations, Natalie. Okay, what a fantastic group of teachers. Uh, and just once again, congratulations to all of our secondary nominees. It's time now to announce the secondary semifinalists for the Region 3 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year. So I will turn it over to our Kansas Teacher of the Year, Tabitha Rossbury, and our commissioner, Dr. Randy Watson. Thank you, Ruth. And Tabitha and I have the envelope again. So let's rip this thing open, Tabitha. We've got some semifinalists to recognize. We sure do. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. I'm going to kick it off. Okay. First secondary semifinalist for Region 3 is Natalie Johnson Berry from Shawnee Mission. <laughs> Congratulations, Natalie. Oh, my goodness. I love I love to see everyone celebrating. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so much fun. We're all we're all here to celebrate each other. Congratulations, Natalie. Right. All right, Tabitha. Who's our next one? Our second semifinalist is Jessica Skoglund from Olathe. Excellent. Excellent. Congratulations, Jessica. Well deserved. Well deserved honor. And Tabitha, we have one more semifinalist from Region Three. So I know you. I know you're drum rolling because you. Yes, thank you. Jennifer Thomas from Turner USD two hundred and two. <laughs> Congratulations to all of the semifinalists, and I believe that Dr. Watson is going to announce the finalist from Region Three. Oh, got to get it here. <laughs> I, I've got to get it. Wow. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. The Region 3 Secondary Finalist for the 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year is Natalie Johnson Berry from Shawnee Mission. Um. <laughs> Congratulations, Natalie, oh. and uh, it's all yours. We welcome you to say <laughs> a few words. Okay, I never expected to receive this award, so I, as an English teacher, may not have the best speech. <laughs> However, I am extremely grateful to my family. I'm grateful to my colleagues, my administrators, and my district leaders. But uh, most importantly, I am honored to accept this award on behalf of the teachers who have nourished me over the years and my students. Um, many people might say that uh, teachers learn from students and indeed we do learn from students. But I can say that I have learned mo over my career most importantly from the students and that's what makes this journey meaningful. So I also accept this award on teachers who have worked tirelessly. Uh, we have experienced so much through COVID of having to work remotely. That's the way we started off our year. Uh, then we went to in-person and hybrid and then back to full-time. So uh, this award is on behalf of teachers who work so hard and who are resilient. Um, there were some days where I felt like I wasn't the best teacher, but it was my students who rooted me on every single day. Uh, when I would go on Zoom, 
<laughs> I've had the most beautiful students, faces and names. <laughs> Abby and they would say good morning Miss Johnson Berry you know have a good weekend Miss Johnson Berry and these amazing students would drop off little presents for me when I felt like my spirits were really low um I felt like some days that I could have done better but they always told me that I was a champion for them but I'm going to say that the students, they were my champions and they are my heroes because they are so resilient and they've experienced everything and they've never stopped being with me each and every single day. I also want to tell you guys a little bit of a story from a teacher who inspired me, uh, my eighth grade English teacher. Her name was Mrs. Joyce Sims. And I want to tell you a little bit about Joyce Sims. She wasn't like any ordinary teacher at all. Uh, she would do the most unconventional things. Uh, many days, you know, where you would typically hear a teacher say, open up your book and turn to page 250. Miss Sim would, would say, all right, I've got these blindfolds for you guys. I want you to go outside. We're going to go to the Yukon Trail. Now, we never, ever went to the Yukon Trail and we weren't mad at her. And I wouldn't blindfold kids right now. But Miss Sims um, ignited my creativity. She really wanted, she made me want to be a teacher. Uh, she made me curious about the unknown. Uh, there were days where she would brandish a trash bag and cut out a hole opening for her head. And she would say, I'm Edgar Allan Poe and I'm personified as death. <laughs> and that really got us going. We got us into poetry. So I always said, when I become a teacher, I want to be just like her. I want to listen to students. And she was the type of teacher who she would open up her pocketbook because that's what you called it back in the days. And if you didn't have lunch money, she'd give you five bucks and she'd do whatever was needed to take care of us. So we felt so much love from her. And that's the love I want to give to my students each and every day. So I am honored to say, Ms. Sims, thank you. Thank you to my students. Thank you to the colleagues who've supported me over the years. Thank you to my principals, my administrators, our superintendent. And thank you to my mom and dad who had to put up with me through COVID. Okay, congratulations, Natalie, and thank you for those inspiring words. Um, we are so excited for you. Again, this is just going to be an incredible year, and uh, we're delighted that you're going to be representing Region 3 uh, uh, as you uh, go on uh, towards uh, the process towards Kansas Teacher of the Year, so thank you so much. And what a celebration this has been. Could all of you please join me and just... Uh, giving a round of applause for all of the nominees tonight, all of these outstanding teachers. You know, I absolutely love participating in this event each year. Uh, I listen to your stories and the exciting things going on in your classroom, and it just makes me so, so proud to be a part of this profession. Teaching is not only about answering questions, but about raising questions, opening doors for students in places that they couldn't imagine. All the treasure of human thought, ideas, discoveries, experiments, reflection, and imagination are in your hands. So teach on. You are the first responders, the front line, the disconnection detectives, and the best hope we have for a better world. What you do in those classrooms when no one is watching, it's our best hope. And may you be the one to illuminate the world by lighting, not, lighting minds. Once again, congratulations to all of the honorees. You are some of our finest educators in a state that shines in the field of education. You have much of which to be proud and we are certainly proud of you. Finalists, please be watching for communication from Tammy Miller at the Kansas State Department of Education. She will be contacting you to share the next steps in this process. And when this celebration concludes, we're asking all nominees to remain on and have your cameras turned on uh, we would like to get a screenshot uh, of all our fabulous teachers together. I'd like to conclude by saying a big thank you to all of you who joined us here today to celebrate these outstanding teachers. And if there are those who couldn't make it, this celebration has been recorded and can be watched again or shared with others 
using the same link that you use today. We hope to see everyone at the banquet on September 25th when the 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year is named. Uh, please enjoy the remainder of your evening and nominees, please remain on for the screenshot. Thank you so much.